2022 Ram 1500 Review, Setting the New Standard The Ram 1500 caused a massive stir when the new generation was launched in 2019. For the first time in a long time, there was a change on the sales charts. Ford's F-150 finished in first place as it usually does, but second place went to the Ram, with the Chevrolet Silverado coming in third. What a strange time to be alive. The world went back to normal in 2020, with Ram once again finishing in third place. By the end of 2021, it was back up to second again, proving that Ram, once known as just a truck under the Dodge moniker, could produce a class leader. Whatever the sales figures say, we reckon the 1500 is still the best. This comes down to a number of factors, from coil spring rear suspension to a class-leading Uconnect infotainment suite. But at the heart of it all is a selection of great engines including a 260-horsepower V6 eco-diesel option, a gasoline V6 with mild hybrid assistance, and, of course, a 5.7-liter Hemi V8 with 395 horsepower on tap. The result is the Golf GTI of full-size trucks. It's all things to all men, as it's comfortable, luxurious, efficient, easy to live with, and good off-road. All that being said, the new generation Ford F-150 has arrived, and that spells trouble for everyone else, even the excellent 1500. 2022 Ram 1500 changes, what's the difference versus the 2021 Ram 1500? For the 2022 model year, the Ram 1500 is receiving the new Uconnect 5 infotainment system from the big horn trim and up. The new system is four times faster than the old, with three times more memory, Wi-Fi, and tow-specific navigation. The trailer tow group now includes a 4-LED trailer hitch light and Harvest Sunrise is a new paint color available on the Tradesman, Big Horn, Rebel, Laramie, and Longhorn. The Rebel gets access to Delmonico Red this year. All trims receive the Ram Clean Air System this year, which comprises an N95 cabin air filter. Besides these changes, there are several special editions, packages, and some new trims. A sporty new G-slash-T package becomes available for the Crew Cab Laramie and Rebel trims with the 5-foot, 7-inch bed and contains a black grille, sport performance hood, a cold air intake, a cold and exhaust, G-slash-T decals, bucket seats, a flat-bottom steering wheel, aluminum paddle shifters, a performance floor shifter, metal pedals, and performance screens. A more luxurious version of the limited trim called the limited 10th anniversary edition joins the range and features the aforementioned cold air kits, a multi-function tailgate, exclusive blue shade paintwork, and 22-inch alloy wheels. The limited Longhorn 10th anniversary trim is replaced by the new Longhorn South Fork and includes the cold air kits, a multi-function tailgate, a spray-in bed liner, a deployable bed step, metal pedals, and Falcon Wild Peak all-terrain tires. Finally, a new backcountry edition of both the Bighorn and Lone Star trims with the 5.7-liter V8 engines is available this year, this off-road-focused package features unique exterior blacked-out finishes and the contents of both the bed utility and off-road groups, among other features. Handling and Driving Impressions Manufacturers of pickup trucks have traditionally used a leaf spring setup at the rear. There are two reasons for this, they're cheap and durable. The Ram 1500 is not the first pickup to use an independent suspension up front and a coil-sprung live axle at the rear, but it is the first to use it and still retain class-competitive towing and hauling figures. Doing away with the leaf springs does wonders. It completely removes that rear bounciness present in 90% of pickup trucks. The Ram 1500 also shrinks around you, hiding its weight extremely well. It's the least intimidating pickup to drive, as it rolls less through the corners and responds very well to steering input at high speeds. The Ram can also be ordered with a full air suspension, replacing the progressive rate coil springs. This improves the ride quality even more, straight into SUV territory. We can't imagine anyone preferring an old-school leaf spring setup. This setup literally predates the vehicle itself and was used on the Ox wagons that built Deadwood. The main problem is the image. Pickup buyers are a traditional crowd and tend to frown upon newfangled technology, even though coil suspension is nothing new. Just think of the poor Honda Ridgeline and its unibody construction. The proof, as they say, will be in the pudding. 
It's too soon to make a call on whether Ram's coil spring suspension will be as durable as a set of bent steel beams. We certainly hope so because it means pickups can finally move away from this horribly outdated rear suspension construction. Verdict, is the 2022 Ram 1500 a good truck? We think the Ram's stellar sales performance so far is already proof enough that it's a superb pickup truck. Pickup truck buyers are arguably the most loyal customers out there, so luring them out of a Ford or a GM product is a stellar achievement. There's an argument to be made about reliability, however. Ram doesn't have the best reputation in this regard, but we'll keep on revisiting this topic every year. To go from over 20 recalls to just 4 in 2 years is already a step in the right direction. Some might want a back-to-basics truck, but why? The Ram is physical proof that you can have your cake and eat it too. With its new suspension setup and overall approach to quality and luxury, the Ram proves that there's no need for a pickup to be a bouncy castle on wheels. You can have an SUV-like ride and handling and a decent tow rating. 2022 Ram 1500 vs Ford F-150 The Ram 1500 had such a good run as the best pickup truck available in the USA, but now the newest Ford F-150 has arrived to rain all over its parade. Like Ram, Ford knew it had to pull a rabbit out of a hat to stay relevant, and it has. The F-150 still rides on an old-school leaf spring setup at the rear, but the newest model is the most comfortable by far. Ford also made massive improvements in terms of quality, and now offers a 12-inch display on high-end models. If anything, the interior looks even better than the Rams. There's a gorgeous digital instrument cluster, a shifter that folds flat to create a workspace, and separate controls for the basic media functions and climate control. The Rams dual-screen setup is great, but we'd take a physical button for the latter functions every day of the week. By comparison, what really sets the new F-150 apart is the six available engine options. There's a large V8, a 2.7-liter EcoBoost V6, 3.5-liter V6 EcoBoost in two outputs, a smaller 3.3-liter naturally aspirated V6, a 3.0-liter power stroke diesel, and an all-new 3.5-liter PowerBoost hybrid offering 430 horsepower and 570 lb-ft of torque. It's already cleaned up with top-notch safety scores, 5 stars for the 2022 model at the NHTSA and a 2021 top safety pick at the IIHS. The all-new F-150 tips the scale back in Ford's favor, and it will likely retain its number one spot for years to come. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.